Tame cockatiels can be great fun for petting, playing, or even dancing to music. But it can take some time and effort to get to that point. When taming cockatiels, it's important to proceed slowly. Training it in short sessions and in a quiet area. If your cockatiel is young, you are likely to have more luck and move faster in training. So here are five tips that will help you tame your cockatiel faster. Avoid mistakes. Before starting to tame your cockatiel, there are three mistakes you should avoid. Do not get your cockatiel out of its cage before it knows how to step on your finger. If you do this, you're risking losing its trust quickly, as it will try to fly away from you, and you'll have to chase and grab it so that you can return it to its cage. Do not offer treats that you want to use in training in the cage. The cockatiel may be less motivated for training if it can eat the same food without working for it. Do not tame more than one cockatiel inside the cage. When a bird is caged with another bird, even the same sex, they will almost always bond and then no longer be tame or not want to be tamed. They have a companion and have no need for human companionship. So even if both birds were tame to begin with, once caged together, they would become less interested in being handled and at some point not want human contact at all. Socializing with your cockatiel. Stay quiet and unobtrusive around a new cockatiel. Do not attempt to begin taming until it has spent a few weeks getting accustomed to its new environment. Keep the cockatiel in a quiet, calm area. Talk to the cockatiel from outside the cage. You may say anything you like as long as your voice stays calm without sudden changes in volume. Also, try to speak softly, not loudly. Lower yourself to just above the cockatiel's eye level. If you are taller than its cage, putting yourself in a less threatening position without appearing submissive. Keep this up for a few days before you make any attempt to train the bird. Make sure your bird is comfortable with you. At some point, now that your bird is used to the sound of your voice, it will begin to move toward you when you sit down to talk to your cockatiel. At this point, you can begin to train your bird, but only very slowly. Offer the cockatiel a treat. A spray of millet is commonly used to train cockatiels since the birds are typically enthusiastic about the food. But you may use any cockatiel appropriate food in small amounts. Hold it through the bars of the cage, but not directly at its face. This encourages the bird to make its way toward you voluntarily. Keep it steady as the bird pecks once or twice or let it peck for up to 5 seconds when it demonstrates unusually good behavior. Only use the spray of millet or whichever treat you chose as a treat. The cockatiel may be less motivated for training if it can eat the same food without working for it. If your cockatiel flies away from your finger inside the cage, take your finger out and let it return to its perch and then continue. Teaching your cockatiel to step up. Open the cage only when the cockatiel is comfortable. Once the bird is comfortable around you, it will stay calm as you approach it and may even eat the treat directly from your hand. This may take weeks or months for an adult bird that is not used to close human interaction. Once you've reached this stage, you may convince the cockatiel to leave its cage. Although some older birds that did not grow up socialized may not voluntarily do this. Make sure all windows and doors in the room are closed and no other pets are present before you open the cage. Continue moving your hand closer during training sessions. Once the bird will approach you and eat from your hand, start approaching it in a similar way with an empty hand. Extending two fingers horizontally. Hold the hand in position until the bird calms down. Rewarding a bird with a treat if the cockatiel remains calm. Again, keep these sessions to 10 or 15 minutes, once or twice each day. Get the bird to step onto your finger. Eventually, move your hand directly to the bird's perch or touch its feet. Once you can keep your hand there without agitating the bird. Gently push the bird's lower chest with your fingers. A light nudge should be enough to slightly knock the cockatiel off balance and cause it to step on your finger with one foot. Do not overtame your cockatiel. If your cockatiel is showing signs that it's exhausted, like starting to look distracted or being sleepy, it's time to stop for the day and continue tomorrow.